you want to make soft and silky a CD fudge that is sweetened with honey, has no chocolate and tastes great. Today I'm going to show you how. So today I'm going to show you five easy steps to make this soft, silky white fudge that is a CD and paleo. Make sure you check out step four because it is the most important one for making sure your fudge turns out exactly right. First, one of the secrets to this uh, SCD fudge is the sweetened condensed coconut milk. Um, that just gave it the extra what it needed to make it more fudge-like when I first tried to make this. Making sweetened condensed coconut milk is pretty easy. You just need coconut milk and honey. All we're doing to make the coconut milk condensed and sweetened is we put the honey and the coconut milk together in a pan. We bring that to boiling and then we reduce it, the heat, and let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes to um, let it thicken up and reduce the volume by about half. So when we're done, we want to have about one cup or so, a little, maybe a little over of sweetened condensed coconut milk. We have the coconut milk uh, ready. You can use it right away. If you're not gonna use it, just um, put it in an airtight container and store it in your refrigerator. But if you're gonna use it right away for your fudge, just you can just put it back in the pan and then we're gonna add our other ingredients. So we're gonna be adding the rest of our ingredients except for the vanilla. It's a half cup of cashew butter, a half cup of cocoa butter, and a fourth cup of honey. You do have some other options if you'd like. Um, if you don't have cocoa butter, you could use some coconut oil. It just won't be quite the same. Um, and in place of the cashew butter, you can use another kind of nut butter. If you want to make peanut butter fudge, you can use peanut butter, you can use almond butter. And if you want something really, really, really good that I made the first time I made this, it is macadamia nut butter. But for this recipe, I just wanted to show the most basic and cashew butter is the most neutral flavor. We're going to cook this over medium heat until it starts to thicken to about 210 to 220 degrees. So we remove the mixture from the heat and pour it into a mixing bowl so it can cool down. Now that it's cooled down, we are moving on to step four. Do not skip this step. If you skip the step of letting it cool down to 110 or so degrees and then beating it or using your stand mixer to beat it, with um, an electric mixer, or unless you're really good at whisking, um, you will not get the right texture. So, you know, be patient. Do not skip these steps. They're very important. I'm going to beat this on high speed for about five minutes until it starts to lose its gloss. And normally I would add the vanilla, one teaspoon of vanilla, before I started doing the beating, but I almost forgot. So, but it's fine now. Um, I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. You can use other flavor if you like. If you have another extract you like, peppermint would be good too with the cashew butter. I wouldn't use peppermint with any other kind of butter. But uh, this is where, you, so you could add it before the beating or just if you forget like I did, just give it another little mix in. A quick note, you're gonna wanna keep this fudge um, chilled as possible in the refrigerator or even in the freezer. I just like to keep it in the freezer. It doesn't even get too hard in there. It stays pretty soft. So if you're going to take it somewhere to serve, you're gonna to want to keep it in a cooler with some ice. And even um, if it's gonna be on a table, maybe put it on top of some ice just to keep it nice and chilled and not melt melty. I have lined this as an eight by eight uh, glass pan. I lined it with some parchment paper. I just used some clips on here so it wouldn't move around while I was doing this video, but it does make it a little nicer to get it in. So we're just going to pour this in and then spread it into an even layer. So we wanted an even layer and then we are just going to refrigerate this for two to three hours before we cut it up. I like to cover it just so it doesn't absorb any other odors or flavors from the refrigerator. This one, this pan has a lid, but you can cover it with saran wrap as well. This has been chilling for about three hours now. So I'm gonna slice it so I can just show you how nice and soft it is.
And here is our first piece. As you can see, it's nice and soft. So usually when you make SCD candy, it's kind of hard and glossy. So this is soft, even though it's been chilling for quite some time. So let's give it a taste. Mm. This is so good. I wish you could taste it, but it is nice and soft and smooth. The texture is just so good. What I love is just how nice this looks. You can see it's nice and smooth. Um, it actually looks a lot like the fudge you're going to see in a fudge shop. So this came out perfect. And that is my recipe for making a perfect SCD white fudge. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you want to see one of my favorite SCD recipes, check out this video right here.